Well, I'm out here at a campsite, and I'm going to do a little swing in here. I'm not sure exactly how old this is. I know it's been here for at least 40 years. Do a lot of parking here and a lot of camping. Um, my goal today is to try to find 100 coins, clad or otherwise. I don't know, necessarily know if I'll find any silver here, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Like I said, I know it's been here for at least 40 years. A lot of fairly mature trees. Um, I ought to do all right here. So I'll get back with you if I find anything. Well, this ain't the most encouraging sight here. Dug down right here by this big tree. Dug down about six inches and got a copper memorial and two zincs. About six to six or seven inches deep. I thought they were going to be good targets, but obviously not. I'll get back with you. Well, I'm up to a couple pieces of silverware. I found this nice piece right here. Wasn't too deep. And then I just found this piece, oh, about two or three feet away from it. Somebody's obviously bent it up to, I don't know if it's supposed to look like a bug or something, but. This says coin silver on it, so I guess I got a piece of silver. I'm not sure about this one. The patterns aren't the same. They're two different pieces, so. But they were right beside each other, about three feet apart. Well, I've been here about three hours. I'm nowhere near as many as I wanted, but. I've got a nice little bunch of coins in there. Nothing old, all clad, a lot of zincs. That's a drawback to trying to dig all the coins. It's if you dig a lot of zincs, but there's a bit of trash in there too. I haven't dug any low tones, only high tones, just digging high coin tones, no nickel tones, gold, nothing like that. So I'm gonna change location now and go somewhere else that I didn't even know it was there. It's just a little tiny park, but we'll see if uh, see if it does any good. I'll get back with you. Well, I'm here at this little park. It's pretty tiny. I mean, you can see the whole thing from here. There's houses on both sides. But I didn't even know it was here. A friend of mine told me about it, so I'm going to see if I can find anything here. I'll get back with you. Well, I'm back from the hunt. There's the coins. 35 coins. There's way more than 35 here, but the rest of them I found throughout the week. So I didn't find 100 coins. I found this fork. It's all bent up. I don't know if it's supposed to be something, but it's all bent up. Did find this spoon. It says coin silver on the back, but. Uh, you probably can't read it, but it also says extra plate. It says extra plate, and it has coin silver in the middle of it. So, not pretty sure it's not silver. I'm pretty sure it's just silver plate. It cleaned up real nice, though. I found this silver rosy earlier the week, earlier in the week, after work. And a couple wheat pennies. Did find this. It's, I believe it's a copper stamping plate of some sort. I have no idea on the age, but it's like a real thin sheet of copper with maybe lead on the back of it. It's pretty heavy, but it's kind of partially corroded on the back. Maybe it's zinc or something. I don't know. Found my first watch. Yeah, not much left of it. Pretty sure it's brass or copper. I looked in the hole, there, there was some more stuff in the hole with it, but it didn't look like watch parts. It was all rusted, so you couldn't really tell anyways. But, I ended up with quite a bit of clad for the week. 35 coins for today. Uh, that's about it.